Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can use some reference images so we can implement that and use it into the DALI number two. So DALI number two is an amazing place to get started. Uh, if you want to actually generate your own images based on a detailed description. So uh, here I'm gonna go into my collections. Here into my collection is going to be appearing all the tools, all the images that I've generated so far. As you can see, I don't have anything available yet because I don't have like anything done here. But uh, for example, here I'd say for example that I asked the computer to generate me um, a photograph of an astronaut riding a killer whale. And here is a photo. This is like something really, really basic. Bore, but what we can do, of course, is to use this image as a reference to uh, actually create something new. So if I hit into, for example, edit the image, I can edit more stuff. Let's say, for example, that I want to edit this leg because this leg is on the other side of the body, so it kind of looks weird. And what I can do here is to hit into edit image. And I want to move my brush a little bit more smaller. So I want to delete all the stuff that I don't want to see into my image. I want to replace that like this there we go so now what i want to do is to do exactly the same thing i want to input here a photograph of an astronaut riding a killer whale i want to hit into generate and this is one of the most things that we can do here into the dali number two so what's going to be doing here is going to be uh taking the same pattern the same colors and the same image that we just used as a reference to fill all what we want to do to see in the, in the image now, I'm going to hit into the original version. As you can see, here's the wrong side of the leg. I'm going to hit into the next one. Oh, man, there we go. I think it's like much, much faster, right? So it's something that's going to be re really useful. We do have more variations of that. This is another. Uh, I do have this one as well, and I do have this one as well. I think like the best, we can all agree that this is like the best option for us. So there's something that we can do more to use this as a reference. I can go into the edit mark and here into the edit mark I can choose the option that says add generation frame. So if I choose the add generation frame, I can implement like I want to see more of my image like this. So if I add like something in here, I want to add something more into my frame. Let's say, for example, here's a photograph of an astronaut riding a killerway. What do you want to see in here? Let's say in here, I want to see like, I don't know, maybe sea creatures hanging or let's say uh, just diving through the galaxy. And what's going to be doing here, Dali number two is going to be generating an image based on this part of the image so I can do something like more interesting i'm gonna just hit maybe more like this and i'm gonna hit i'm gonna do exactly like the middle and i'm gonna just go into generate maybe like this and hit into generate so uh this is another way that we can try to use reference images to upload more and more stuff or if you do want to see more stuff let's say that i want to add my own images i want to add implement my own references images I can actually do that by going into the upload image. Now here, for example, we have like a reference of the universe. Here, as you can see, this is something that I don't know what it is. What is that? We have this astronaut. We have this tool. And I think that I'm going to just stick around with this version. This one looks really good, I think. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to hit into accept. And I'm going to go back into my image can go into cancel, can go into history, hit into OK. And now what I want to do, of course, is to hit into Delhi. And here I want to upload my own image. So I want to go into downloads for this tutorial. Of course, you want to download your own image. In my case, I have generated this image. This is something like more, let's say, like more detailed and uh, with more high quality than that. So I'm going to choose to into scrapped. And here I can choose the edit image. So uh, what I want to do here is to choose, let's say, for example, edit the image and tell the computer that I don't want to see this. And here I want to tap see creatures. 
and here into generate. This is exactly the same thing. It's going to be generating more stuff into my image and it's going to be using the same color palettes. So it's going to be like the most accurate uh, failment um, tool. So I just need to wait a couple of 10 seconds here and to see what does the computer has generated for me. So I'm going to hit into my image and here we do have this option. I think it's pretty great, but uh, this is something that I actually don't want to see. And um, this is something weird. And of course, this is something weird. So that depends on what kind of images you have. You want to have a really, really great um, quality, great quality of your image. So if I choose upload an image once again, uh, what I want to do here is to upload an image from a model here. So I'm going to go into my desktop. I want to choose my models and I want to choose an image generated by something else like this. So I do have this model here and I want to choose generate by reasons of this model here. So this is a reference of the image. I want to let's, let's say I don't want to, I want something related into what I do have into my image. I don't want to copy and paste it. I just want to use the same image, but I don't want to copy that. And I want to implement that here. So here I do have the original size and here I do have different versions. So as you can see, it's looking a little bit with less quality and like too different. So if you want to edit that, I can go into the backspace. And what I want to do, of course, is to edit it this. I'm going to hit into edit the image or you can open this in a new tab. If I hit into the edit the image, I want to once again do exactly the same thing. So I can delete this uh, nose and this mouth here. Now let's say I want to add a, let's say 25th person or let's say a young man, a young man with no beard. And with that, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it like that. The computer is gonna be generating a real person inside this small place. So I think right now that we maybe needed to ask for a nose and a mouth, but I think the computer do something like much more interesting here. So this is the original one. This is the generated by Delhi. So uh, as you can see, I believe that the most accurate is this one. But uh, this is how we can use reference images to create something more different. So we don't have to actually, let's say like um, copy and paste images that you do like and this have like, um, I don't know, maybe like a copy grade and all that. So that's how we can use Dali guys to actually like use and reference images to create our own stuff. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you do want to see more great tools for the Dali number two. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you on the next one. I'll see you soon.